Hello there, what, how's it going guys? Carlo here, and today I am going to show another method of how to rip Super Nintendo samples with both Split 700 and another program called SPC2MML. So the first thing to do is to go to here, or the first step in this case, and I'm going to open SPC. Now, and by the way, just in case you're wondering how I was recommended this, it was from a recommendation from a user called Dixie Chicks. Who, that's what he's calling YouTube. Currently, this is actually his name. And here's where he recommended it. Right here. I keep telling people to use this program, but it doesn't seem like people really think it's that useful for anything, when in reality, it's actually one of the best SNES sample ripping programs around. So yeah, and I said I would give it one more shot, and yeah, I told him that it worked. And I'm going to show you how it worked. So in that case, I'm going to actually open an SPC like I just showed. And I'm going to, to choose this one called Decline. And now I'm going to analyze the SPC so you can play it to make sure it's ripped just fine. Let's play the analysis. Alright, so now I'm going to select, select the sample output path. Now I'm, I'm not going to go further into the MML stuff because this is how to get them to WAV samples so you can r use them in something like Fruity Loops or FL Studio or whatever program it is. Or, um, so, whatever your case is. So now I'm going to click the Split 700 folder. I'm, act I'm going to actually go to the folder. Then I'm, so I can make sure they're in the right place. Then click Export Samples. Don't bother with any of these settings. They I, they don't do any, they, well, they, well, I, well, it's not really worth wasting time, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Now, I'll be I'll be leaving a link in the description so you can get the ones with the exact names for these. And you're going to want to drag these to BRR2WAV. And I'm just going to wait for them. And you can tell that they ripped all the samples. We're going to make sure that we play them all to check to see how well they turned out. Okay, brass. Let's check this one out. All right. So if if you don't if if you don't hear anything, you might as well go to Polyphone or any program where you can test um, WAV sample loop. Go cl click New, put any name you want. In that case, you might as well post them here. And I'm going to test them all to see how well it worked. Oh, wait. So in that case, this one's, I'm going to call it Low Piano. And as you can tell, when you move a sample, it nothing, it's going to turn into just silent stuff. And now I'm going to change that to kick. Make sure you name them something that you will remember. So don't get anything misleading. Let me just make sure I got that right. As you can tell, so I already moved that. Let me make sure I got the information correctly. Okay. Let me get rid of that. So that was something I already ripped earlier. And I'm gonna replace it with Tom. As you can tell I've already renamed that. Okay, that one's a bit of a weird one, but it's definitely not a bad one. The snare, and if you can tell that one's already renamed, so I can just get rid of these. Alright, Saw 2. I already ripped another one from an earlier SPC, or, or an earlier time ripping this, which is relative thinking. And I'm gonna name that one Marimba. I wish you already did that. I'm gonna name that one Miss, because I don't know what it is. 
As you can tell, I got them all, and then move them. Move any of the samples in a, in a specific folder where you can make sure you memorize them. Okay. And then you're going to want to get rid of these BRRs. At least I'm going to want to do them. I mean, you can keep them if you want, but I'm going to get rid of them because I have no use for them. And they're Fruity Loops ready. So that means I can use them for Fruity Loops. And I'd probably recommend actually closing this and then opening another SPC. Because that's one time I tried to play analysis when I opened it this, when I opened it after doing it two times the second time. It didn't work out correctly, but there it pretty much is. So what do you guys think? Have you seen a better method or, or, or do you appreciate this method? Let me know in the comment section in this video. For now, peace.